I mean, actually, considering that she's a former Disney star, I guess you can say that this still has to do with Disney. But what it does is, I don't think, I won't say I don't think my audience, maybe the hate watchers of my audience don't really know this. But there are very influential people that you might not think are influential, influential nonetheless, that people actually listen to, celebrities, that are among some of the dumbest people outside of their realm of expertise, which I guess is acting or whatever it is that they do, whatever made them a celebrity. But for a lot of these people, they are mentally challenged. The thing is, is that everybody has a megaphone. If you definitely are in that position <clears throat> now with social media, certainly, I guess you can look at the positive that everybody has a voice there, but these though, I think the celebrity mystique has faded. Um, some of their power is is limited in comparison to what it was before, but they still are powerful and they still certainly are stupid when they venture off into other subject matters that they, they're not really knowledgeable on. Now, I want to say this. I'm not suggesting that they not have opinions on other things. I'm not suggesting that they can have opinions on other other things and interests. Not what it is that I'm saying. However, they get a lot of their information and just like, you know, you look at your average person, they're stupid, too. But they get a lot of their information from handlers. They get a lot of their information from people that aren't giving it to them straight. So when you look at the mainstream, let's say authoritarian social justice left and whatever narrative it is, that is the flavor of the day. You'll see a lot of celebrities parrot it and. Oftentimes they don't make any sense because they're preaching a falsehood and it, they can, they're very clear and obvious don't know what it is they're talking about. It's not going to stop them from speaking, but it certainly won't stop me either from covering it. Raven Simone, you know, uh, her, she, she said in a video, not, uh, I guess what, what this was on the today show. And this is what she said. Let's, let's just watch this. We don't need to spend much time on it. I'm going to say this, and this is my thing. If there's a don't say gay bill, there should be a don't say straight bill. Mm -hmm. Because it's not fair, and there are multiple kinds of humans in this world, and you are ruining the psyche, the confidence of so many young children because you are discrediting their parents, the people they love, the people that raise them, the people that teach them the manners when they walk into that schoolroom. So if you're not going to honor their family, your family shouldn't be honored either. So let's just make it even slash equal, maybe. Okay, so obviously Raven Simone is fucking retarded. Okay, uh, certainly in this in this aspect, it's a couple of different things in what it was that she said. Keep in mind, they don't give a shit about any of that in terms of what she's saying, even about discrediting their parents. Uh, certainly, when they find out the way that. Uh, they vote. <laughs> uh, Raven and her posse has absolutely no issues uh, devaluing certainly them. But here's the thing on why she's absolutely fucking retarded. If you actually read the bill, which you didn't, obviously, uh, to be fair, most people didn't. The people that are certainly calling it a don't say gay bill have read absolutely nothing from it. The bill does not specify anything regarding sexuality. You dumb son of a bitch. So just as much as it would apply to gay people, it would already apply to straight people because there's nothing in the bill that says don't say gay. Just your posse, the people that you align with ideologically have told you, Raven Simone, and this is why, whether it be with her or people that aren't celebrities, because there's so much information out there there is no reason for something to go as long as it has with this don't say gay stuff. That's what they're calling it. There is no reason for you to take well, this three to seven pages, depending on how you format the page. For There's no reason. You've had plenty of time to actually look into it. Okay, plenty. So there's no excuse. And it's less about you not reading it it's about you not reading it and having a conversation and public and aggressive opinion about it. 
you are not under any obligation to read anything. And you're certainly not in the, under any obligation to chime in on every single conversation. I don't. A lot of people even get mad at me. You talk about the same shit all the time. Well, thanks. Thanks for acknowledging the fact that I'm consistent and I stick to the topics I'm knowledgeable on. Because I don't feel like I have to chime in on every single subject matter and every single thing that everybody's talking about. A lot of people do. And what happens is they don't know what they're talking about. They're just repeating what they heard someone else say. So this retard actually believes that the bill says don't say gay or that it somehow de delegitimizes it, uh, uh, people's the sexuality, I guess, of the people's parents. But the thing is, is and this is why I told you know, I told y'all that the fact that really that's leading the charge on this entire thing is either the allies or members of the LGBT, particularly that are in education. And they are telling on themselves and what their aspirations are, because, again, nowhere, nowhere does it state in there anything about sexuality precisely as far as it being about you being gay or non straight. It doesn't. So it would apply either way. But you take the issue. The, you take the issue. These members of this community or their allies are the ones taking the issue. So you're telling on yourself. You're telling on yourself. You're, you're, you're telling people what it is that you are attempting to do because you're. Logically speaking, anybody would have an issue with it if that was what it is that they were trying to do be it uh, by, by way of implementation of the curriculum or whatever. But that's not the case. It's not the case. This is that's not what we're dealing with with this uh, with this bill. It's not going to stop these people from saying it. It's not going to stop anybody from repeating it. A lot of these people that have repeated a lot of what's being said about this bill in Florida. Some of your fr friends, some of your uh, family members, some people that you know of acquaintances, associates who are calling it something that it's not. And I do not give those types leeway. I think these people should be mocked, shamed, and called stupid. Because, again, you've had plenty of time to look in it, into it, yet you still continue to have such an aggressive opinion about something, even though it's verifiably fucking false. It's as simple as that. So I don't give people like, oh, well, they're just ignorant. No, 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 no. You don't have an excuse to be ignorant. You can twiddle your fucking thumbs and say all of this other shit. You can look into it and read it. it. It don't take long. But either way, why are you having such an aggressive opinion about something that you're clearly not knowledgeable on? This is why I'm saying that they're retarded. There's no need to pretend like they are. There's no need to pretend like we aren't dealing with very, very, yes, they're disingenuous, but they're stupid people. And they should be made fun of for it because you're going out of your way to be that stupid. You just listened to a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash Young Ripper 59 and Odyssey.com slash at Young Ripper 59. Be sure to check out my website, EricDJuly.com, so you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.